This just feels so weird because I don't know what it is. One of my favorite things about jetty fishing is just how crazy it's out here. I mean, this is amazing. The wind is like, the water is breaking over the jetty. The wind is blowing. You can't beat it this type of fishing. Check it out, look at that. We are opening up this new gulp thing, surf bites, what they call it, and tear it apart. Oh, it doesn't even tear apart, you gotta cut it off. <laughs> you know, if, if, actually, you know what, it's so funny because you can't pull this off. If only they started making the tails on their gulp like this, hit this. Because <laughs> you use regular gulp and little tails and yeah, one little pinch, it comes off, but with these, they ain't doing that. Maybe they should uh, start doing that to their tails. We're gonna toss out the uh, gulp surf bites. What a name. Competing with fish bites and whatever other products. Let's get this out real quick. I'm gonna be bringing up a black Third Coast Leo, the Beach Bomber series. These things are elite. They're made to my specifications, so but what I like when I'm uh, using surf rigs, and it adds the aesthetic touch of black plus some of the some of the uh, high quality gear that Third Coast uses. Check it out, y'all. A lot of people make leaders out there, but not like these. Hey, beautiful rigs, that hardcore with coating on it, man. This is this is a this is a quality rig. I like quality stuff, so of course I would fish with a quality rig. Nice size bait right here, and hopefully we catch some of this. We're gonna stick the other guys in the cooler to use it for uh, later on today. Fresh. All right, let's do it. Bloody. Perfect. Perfect size to cast out too. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna switch back to fish bites. Uh, right now, I don't like that gulp surf bites. And it, it, it's just like gulp, like the little swim baits. You know, eventually it runs out of juice and you gotta re-dip them, recharge them. And it looks like that's the same thing that's going on with these. You can't leave them out for an extended period of time. Because as soon as I cast it out, it started getting hits. But after like three or four hits, that's it. The strike, the bite really slowed down. And I brought them back in, they were still on there. Which means that, they're, you know, of course, like gold products, one of the edges that it has over a lot of soft baits is that, it has, you know, it's that juice, that scent. But once that scent runs out, it's just like any other piece of bait. And so let's get this out halfway to the channel. And hopefully we catch some sand trout. Definitely.
let's get this next bait out and catch something bigger hopefully we're out here just you know we're gonna we're just we're not really targeting anything we're just whatever big we catch that's what we're targeting all right let's get this out that was a good cast What is this? This is such a weird hit. A stingray. This just feels so weird because I don't know what it is. Look at this. 
big old drum. This is what I'm talking about. This thing's a tank. Look at it. Man, I thought it was a big stingray because when I was trying to pull it off the ground, they didn't want to move. Look how big it is. Look how big its head is. It's as big as my chest. Check it out, y'all. Big old drum. Look at that. Beautiful animal. Whew. What a lot of fight. A lot of fight. Check it out, y'all. Caught that, uh, that big old like air circle that came up like that. That was just its breath and went straight down. At least successfully. They crushed that bait. Look at that, it crushed it. The drums have like these big like crunches in the back, and once it gets bait, it just crunches it hard. Check it out, it's gone. It didn't even he didn't eat it, he just squished it. Alright, let's go uh, charge up. I'm a little tired after that. Man, that was crazy because I usually don't catch a lot of drum on bullet. Most of the time I just catch them on crabs and shrimp, crustaceans. But very seldomly, if they're hungry enough, I guess there ain't no crabs out here or something, they'll eat mullet and shad. As you can see with that one, I cast it out, and then it was still, like, I, I waited there for a bit, and I'll show you in this camera. When I switched over. Like, it went down, and then, like, like, like 30 seconds later, it's like it was pulling very slowly and weird. I was like, hey, what is this? So I figured it was just the current because the ship was passing by. Well, it, had, it should have passed by. But I, 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 you know, they were like pulling harder and harder, but it wasn't pulling frag. So I just, I, I thought nothing of it. So I came over here. This one started kind of like pulling drag. And then I saw that bend, that rod was like bent, like, you know, like 45 degree. And I was like, oh, there's something on there. But sure enough, the way it was fighting, I thought it was a, I thought it was a, uh, like a stinger or something. I'm casting out that way, this way, that way. And uh, this is my favorite part about fishing the bog jetty. The dish are too rough for most people. They won't come out here to get soaked and stuff. So nobody's out here. Nice. Whew, 
Check it out, y'all. I just made a 50-yard sprint over here. Nice four red. Got the moon. Woo. Man, that sprint, man, these shoes are heavy. Looks like you're running with weights on your ankles. Nice bull red here. This is like a, this is bigger than slot, obviously. This is like a 32, 34 inch right here. If you didn't want to keep one, this is the size to keep to be the family. You can feel like 10 people with this. Check it out, y'all. Beautiful bull red. Nice spot. I thought it was a heart, but it's not. Beautiful fish. Check it out, y'all. That was quick. It was, the bait was like, about like two minutes. And we got it. That, that bait didn't even last two minutes out there. Quick and easy. It feels fresh on the feet too. This is badass. I haven't had a day like this. Like where I just like catching like Back to back. <sighs> Perfect. A lot of dolphins over there. All right, we're gonna get another bait out. Surf AK. And that bomb is real far. Hopefully we get another bait, another big fish. They're all running along through the here, so let's see like that one like that one probably almost got hit right there. Let's cast this out real quick. <sighs> Amazing. Perfect. That's a nice cast. Hey, look, look, look. That's another red, yes. All right. Very well hooked. Oh. Yeah. Pull it right there.
<laughs> wow, that's crazy. Dang. It's time to change, cut it or change it. It's all frayed because of rocks. Hold on, what is this? Oh my God, look, somebody had it on a stringer. What a bunch of poachers. That's what they get. They're poaching. We're gonna set you free. One of the poachers. Idiots, man. I'm glad it came off. That's what we're done, man. Look at this shit. Look at that. These people, these are, you know, they come out here with cheap stringers, and they can't even they can't even string a fish right. Check it out, man. I'm glad it got loose. They didn't even have a tag on it, they were poaching. What a bunch of losers. Cut off the uh, the line on there. Look at that. This guy, somebody was trying to poach it. Check it out, y'all. It's like a 36, 30 inch, 38 foot red. Someone tried to take this. They like to eat worms. These, these fish are not good to eat it when they're big like this. You gotta eat them small size. You know, when you take these home this big, I hope you have your can of spaghetti sauce because this thing's full of worms. Check it out, y'all. We saved it from the stringer. It could have gotten tangled up and died on something. But see, some of these poachers, man, they can't, they don't even know how to, they don't even know how to tie a stringer on. But good thing because we saved it. Let's let it go. You know, that decent. What's with the waves? Perfect. Quit coaching. This is a bigger blue red.
I got it. Can you help me? I get in the cracks. That's actually not so bad with these long leaders. Another pool right here, this is one of the younger ones, like the mid 30s inches. These fight really hard. These fight harder than 45 inches. 45 inches are like dead weight. 50, they like get like rejuvenated and like they fight hard and fast and they're tanks. But these 30 size right here, man, these can swim fast, hard. They'll fight a long time. Check it out, y'all. Perfect. We've been out here for like three hours. The first hour and a half was slow. We didn't catch anything. We caught like one hard head, a bunch of hard heads in a, in a gap top. But then all of a sudden it just turned on and it did not stop. It's like prime fishing at the jetties. That's what, that's what it's all about. The waves are crashing over the jetty. It's wet, it's rocky. I mean, everything here, this is jetty fishing at its finest. This is the epitome of jetty fishing. Look at that. It's amazing, it's beautiful. But when you land big fish and the whole experience of like getting at the bottom of the rocks, getting wet and like sliding down and pulling up these fish you know you can't beat that you know it's, I, I think it's you know i mean it's, it's fun i'm not gonna say it's the best type of fishing but i mean it's one of my favorites so but i mean that's it we did amazing out here and uh hope you enjoy this video i mean this is one of the one of the best days that i've had out here you know actually it's probably one of the best day i've had all year next to the day that the jacks were running but nobody's out here and every fish was a challenge you know and that's one of my favorite things about jetty fishing it's always a challenge you never know what you never know what the conditions are going to be out here the wind is blowing like 10 miles out of the southeast yet the waves the waves are breaking it looks like the wind is blowing like 30. you know look at that it's breaking way over the jetty and you know when i got here it made no sense why it was so rough and the wind was barely blowing and so it's like whoa i mean we got a nice current coming in so but anyways and this is jetty fishing at its finest i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching